Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the glowing lines and some other effects from the Shake It Up pack to enhance your videos just like this one. To put this video together, I have used the Wondershare Filmora video editing software. On the right hand side, you can see my fully finished project. I've just made a copy of it so that we can deconstruct it and I can kind of show you what I've added and why. So for the time being, I have muted the song just so it's a bit easier for me to play it back and that the music doesn't interrupt the video. The song that I have chosen comes with Filmora, so feel free to check it out. They have quite a few different songs, so all the effects that you have seen throughout the video and the elements all come from the shake it up pack apart from two basic transitions. So at the start of the video we have the shake it up pack transition number one. So the reason why I really like this transition is because it gives me like those retro vibes. I really like how the shapes move across, reminds me of cartoons and I think it links these two shots quite well so we're going from like a close-up detail shot to like a wide angle establishing shot. So applying this transition is very simple. All you have to do is click and drag it to your desired clips and it will be automatically applied. Throughout the video I have been using the elements from the Shake It Up pack so we have this fire effect and we have all these kind of glowing lines effects that add a little bit of visual impact to the video. I feel like it makes it so much more eye catchy for like social media. So I have been using these elements right here. We have this circle with kind of glowing lines going out from it. We have this fire and a few of these like electric burst glowing lines. I also really like these glowing wings but I feel like they would look a lot better if you had the subject that was turned back towards the camera. So with the elements from the Shake It Up pack I have been using them to transition between clips to give them more of a purpose rather than just to have them randomly sprinkled throughout the video. Putting the elements in your video is super easy. You literally have to click and drag them to the desired location. So I chose them to go from one clip to another. And I have also made the elements a lot bigger by double clicking on the element and going to scale and increasing it so that it covers the whole clip. I have also positioned this a little bit lower because the fire kind of spirals towards the top of the screen and I didn't want to lose that. The next place I have used the element is here where I have slowed down the video so it goes from regular pace to half speed. I have also slowed down the speed of the element so that it gives more of an impact to the slow motion. So let me show you how you can slow down your elements. Again, applying your elements is super easy. All you have to do is click and drag. Some of the elements from the Shake It Up pack, they do repeat. So all you have to do is isolate one of the animations and simply make a cut and delete the rest. But of course, you don't have to do that if you wish to use them all. So to slow down the element, all you have to do is right click and select speed and duration. And from here, I have set the speed to 0.5, which makes it 50% slower. And once again, I have made the element just a tiny bit bigger by double clicking and increasing the scale so that you can see it covers more of the frame. If you wish to slow down your video, the process is exactly the same as for the elements. You simply right click, select speed and duration and, and adjust the speed. But be careful not to make it too slow. I recommend slowing down only clips that you have shot in at least 60 FPS as videos with lower frame rates will appear stuttery and it doesn't look very smooth. 
So you can see here how choppy this is, even though this is filmed in 60 frames per second, but it has just been slowed down to the point where it appears very choppy and stuttery, so there is a limit. So for example, if you have shot your video in 60 frames per second and your timeline is 30, I would not go below 50% slower. The next two elements in this video have been placed in the exact same way as I have shown you before. They have not been slowed down, they're kept at the regular pace. Apart from using the Shake It Up pack transitions and elements, I have also used this basic transition, which is the Warp Zoom 6. I have used it to zoom out from like a close-up to a wide-angle shot. I think it just makes it a little bit more dynamic. And at the end, I have used a simple fade. The placement of these transitions is very simple, just like with the Shake It Up transition. All you have to do is click and drag to the desired place. I have also made the warp zoom a little bit shorter so that it appears a bit more fast paced. So this entire video has been shot using a smartphone and a smartphone gimbal so nothing fancy there. You can easily try and replicate a video like this at home. I feel like the Shake It Up pack just goes so well with sporty videos like this and I'm sure it will impress your friends on social media. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you some ideas on how to use the Shake It Up pack in your own videos. If you want to try it for yourself, you can check it out at the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.